Hey guys, all right, so how did this work? Okay, remember, okay, chat right there. Okay, I think this is working. Okay, so here we are. Um, hi guys, can you guys hear me? Hello, can you hear me? All righty, <laughs> welcome. Uh, man, this is, uh, so I'm using my phone to do this uh, live uh, streaming. I've never uh, done this before. Hey Brent, how's it going? Cool stuff. Alrighty, so um, really my plan I guess today is, hey, uh, let's talk about potting mix. Hey Kate, uh, Ruby. And, um, and then kind of just do Q&A with you guys, hang out, uh, chat. Uh, hi Tora, Janice, keep them green. Hey, what's up? Derek Williams. <laughs> Uh, from France. Wow, look at you guys. Okay, so we'll wait a couple minutes, see who else is going to join us. But our plan is to obviously do a bit of uh, talking about potting mix uh, and then do a bit of Q&A with you guys. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you guys? Natural cleaning. Good stuff. From Guatemala. Wow. What is the hardest plan for you right now? Hi from California. Um, hardest plan for me right now, I would say, is my uh, philodendron melanocrysum. It's acting up. Phoenix, Arizona. Alrighty, Mississauga. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> You're just at the GTA. Uh, yeah, this is my Ficus Ruby. So I figured, you know what? Let's uh, show some plants while we're here. Texas from Manila. Welcome. Uh, Magandang Umaga. No, is it is it morning out there? In Mexico. All right. Do I love uh, Do I love my Philadelphia Melanocrysum? Yeah, I do. Please shout out. Plant parent there. <laughs> okay, from Netherlands. Wow, this is so cool. You know, last time I did a uh, a live was on Instagram and similar thing. You know, a lot of people from uh, around the world. So uh, it's pretty cool that everyone. Hi, Sharita from LA. How are you? <laughs> you guys know Sharina <laughs> from Germany. Hey, what's going on? Have you heard is good water your plants with pasta water? If so, can you talk about it? I don't think I've ever heard that. Um, I don't know, Sharina, have you heard about using pasta water for your plants? Uh, I've, never, I've never used it, I've never done it. I don't have much information. I'm doing well, thank you. All right, from Illinois. Okay, but um, yeah, normally I use just regular tap water here in uh, Ontario. And uh, the only, I'll use like filtered water for my uh, Pelia, uh, only because whenever I use like tap water, it becomes, uh, it starts to get those pores and those holes. So I said, you know what, forget it. Let's not do it. Egg water. Use rice water too. Oh, you see, these are these are terms I've never even uh, thought about doing. I've heard using like aquarium water because um, I know um, there's a lot of benefits using that. So, but I've never used egg water or rice water. Uh, Fort Smith, Tennessee, Michigan. Um, all right, so we're gonna. Okay, so before um, what's that? Here from South Africa. Wow, South Africa. Aquarium water is amazing. Okay, I need to keep that in mind. I don't have an aquarium. I don't have any uh, fishes <laughs> although going up. I had, uh, uh, my family had an aquarium. Uh, I never thought about using it to water your plants. Is the uh, starch of some plants like it? Cool. Um, your collection. Okay, so uh, before we uh, get started um, with all some of your questions, uh, I do just want to um, I usually, uh, yeah, maybe we'll talk about it on my Instagram. <laughs> you guys can join me there later. Uh, okay, so do you add cat litter to your potting mix? No, I never thought about doing that. Uh, but the potting mix I usually use are some regular potting mix uh, that you guys can buy at your uh, local garden center. It's usually pre-packaged. And then uh, the three ingredients that's typically on a pre uh, in a pre-packaged potting mix are um, like peat moss, perlite, and some like uh, um, like forest uh, bark and all that stuff. So, uh, and then you get like premium potting mix, which has like slow release fertilizer and uh, some hummus and all that. So uh, for the most part, I just use regular potting mix, but I like to add a lot of perlite and uh, pumice, which I'm starting to use, which is a little bit more like, they're exactly like perlite in terms of the same material it's used. Um, Perlites just process uh, lava rocks while uh, pumice is more like, they're, they're almost like stones. So it's like these like, so they sit heavier. So they don't float around uh, when you water your plant and then they start floating around. You see those white stuff, that's your perlite. 
Uh, pumice stays more in the soil, so it helps uh, retain a lot of that airflow and drainage. Uh, but usually I use like a third. Okay, well, lately I've noticed that whenever I'm planting my pot, my plants in a bigger container, um, like say for example, this used to be in like a six inch and then I moved it to an eight inch. Um, I used to increase, I used to just do like 50% potting mix and then maybe like 40% cacti soil and then like 10% perlite. But the, now that they're getting bigger, I used to, I'm now just doing like a third, a third and a third. I have a question about uh, where can I find cheap pots? But yeah, like a third of perlite and a third of um, cacti soil and then a third of uh, regular potting mix. So that's kind of like my base go-to uh, potting mix when it comes to most of my house plants. Uh, certain plants that are a little bit more sensitive to watering like my philodendron or anthuriums, uh, I have a little bit more less soil in there and it's mostly just like orchid bark, um, uh, you know, um, pumice, uh, a lot of um, clay, uh, expandable clay, and even some lava rocks and all that. So I'm kind of using that now for, uh, for it. Hey guys. <laughs> Alrighty. My pilia isn't doing well. What tips do you have for potting it in, in, uh, and watering it? So normally uh, it's hard for me to say, um, you know, without looking at your, your pilia uh, or your pilia or however you want to call it. But I always say like, <sighs> You got to find the right spot for it uh, and usually the right spot for them is uh, warm temperature, a lot of bright indirect light and um, you know no like force wind or drafts blowing on them so if you had them like under a heater or under an AC it's not going to go well. Uh, they tend to react when they get a lot of movement or a lot of uh, moving around so you do just want to kind of find them at the right uh, spot get them settled in, uh, they, they might react, they might droop, especially after repotting, but once they're settled in their area, they're gonna flourish and they're gonna thrive. When it comes to watering, I always say water when the soil is completely dry, and that means like not just the top two inches of the soil being dry, but like the entire container, uh, because uh, similar to, depending how big your pot is, you know, you don't wanna uh, obviously overwater it. I thought I wanted a pilia, okay. How much do you water your prayer plants? So I water my prayer plant, uh, usually I try to keep the soil cons uh, consistently moist. So I, I'll often water it maybe like once a week, but I, I water it very little. I don't like water it and watch the water, water drain through uh, because I just want to keep it like consistent. Uh, so yeah, I have a hardly philodendron and has been growing really small leaves, although bright window. He cute. Okay, thank you. I guess. Um, so don't add heart shape. Heart shape philodendron. I'm the worst at. I am the worst at because all of them for some reason don't do well. My philodendron Brazil. If you guys seen that uh, top ten least favorite plants, it's one of the plants I'm neglecting right now or not doing so well. Um, and then um, and then obviously uh, my um, melanochrysum is heart shaped philodendron also struggling a bit so i'm still trying to figure that out you know for surprisingly for those of you guys who may be surprised there are some plants that i just don't do well with how can i keep my philly uh fig alive they never love me back <laughs> um wow uh mine is also quite bare it's it's surprisingly survived for over two and a half years you know what's interesting about Philly uh, leaf figs is they used to be like really, when you first get them, they're nice and full. And then over time, their leaves just drop. Mine has dropped so many leaves. So right now, he's very close to my south facing window. I'm sitting right there near the bird of paradise. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, like I water, it's tough because I don't have a watering schedule with this one. I usually, I used to water it like once every three weeks or once a month. Um, and then in the summer months, I started to water it a little, a little bit more. And then it just acted and just started to drop leaves. All righty. My ficus lessica is not growing at all. What should I do? I don't know what you mean by not growing. Like, is it showing? Okay. So every time a ficus is growing, you're gonna see this thing. So that's a sign of new growth. So this is the start of the new leaf. And then once it opens up like this one, there's one already there. So if you're seeing this, your ficus is still growing. If it's stuck here for whatever reason, uh, for however long, try misting it to try and encourage it to to maybe like open up. Uh, but usually this just grows bigger and bigger and then eventually it's gonna open up. Uh, if you don't have that, um, I'm gonna, I've never experienced it, but if I say that wasn't there, I would probably just cut the top off to try and promote new growth. It needs more light. My ficus wasn't happening until I put a porch. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. I mean, this guy is close to my south facing window, even gets a lot of direct sunlight. 
what's the one plant that you have always wanted but could never get your hands on? It's the uh, Christia of, over, of Cordata. So it's called the butterfly plant, uh, butterfly wing plant. And it's, it's like been my wish list plant for, for like a good four years now. Uh, they're definitely quite, I've never seen them in North America ever or here in Canada for sure. But uh, I, I, you know, they're mostly uh, found in Thailand. So it's definitely on my wish list plant. Um, I tried buying seeds one time, but they just, they, they were not the real seeds. So where do you get all your cover uh, pots? Like my plastic ones, uh, usually at Canadian Tire. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so um, in, how, how do I get my fig to grow taller? If it's not growing, you got to kind of cut it and prune it, right? So, but uh, okay, so going back to potting mix, um, you got your regular potting mix, and then I spoke about uh, perlite and humus. And then I, uh, want, the other one I want to talk about is cacti soil. So obviously cacti or succulent soil are meant for exactly those types of plants. Uh, and I also use them for my snake plants, as well as for my ponytail palm and my ZZ plant. Uh, so that I, because they, they prefer a little bit more like well drainage, right? You don't like, you don't need those uh, plants to be sitting in water. I did that and I cut the upper portion. Uh, hello, Sonia. Um, so when you cut a plant, my rubber plant grows so slow. I've had it for a year and maybe two or four leaves. I'm so over it. <laughs> Don't be over it. I mean, at the end, you know, to me, as long as your plant is alive under your care for that long, it, it, it should be okay. You know, I, I would be okay with that. Uh, obviously we want them to grow and we want to encourage growth, but if yours is not growing and like I said, plants, sometimes you kind of need to, uh, prune to promote new growth. Uh, and that's what I do with like my jasmine plant. Sometimes I'll prune it um, like every month or every other month, uh, especially when the blooms fall off to just encourage a lot more uh, growth and new, new blooms. So you can definitely do that with a lot of your plants as well. My Chinese money plant baby leaves curled into roll. What should I do? Okay, what direction does your window face? South facing. That's all I have. It's just a south facing window. How do you water succulents? Do you recommend it? Oh, I missed that chat. Okay, so the chat uh, windows disappears here quite quickly. By the way, if you guys are watching this on your on your mobile phone, I don't think you, you'll be able to see the chat. So I, you, from your perspective, I, I might just be chat uh, talking nonsense here. Okay, oh great. I made it to a live. Huge love from uh, Scotland. Wow. <laughs> New uh, plant parents from the UK. How do I deal with root rot on my... Okay, so we'll talk about if you... If you ever overwater your plant and if you have root rot, um, so if you ever mistakenly like overwater your plant and and you'll you'll kind of get a sense when you overwater it when the pot is heavy and you know the next day or two it's still heavy and the soil is just so packed and then the first sign you're gonna see is the bottom leaves are gonna start yellowing. Uh, you overwatered your plant. So what I would do immediately is remove the plant, uh, you know, out of the container and slowly remove a lot of that wet soil and try and, and, and obviously allow a lot of air to flow through that, through, through the roots and leave it there for like a day. Or if you can, you know, completely remove the roots, um, you know, just plant it back in like dry soil and uh, just, you know, let it calm down, let it settle. Or what you guys can do is also get like a, um, a heat, mat, heat mat where you can uh, wrap the pot around and uh, or around the pot and then it'll kind of warm up the soil and help uh, dry that out pretty quickly and make sure you aerate the soil by like using like a chopstick to you know uh, loosen the top soil or the top two inches to just allow that airflow. Um, but if you also notice that once you remove it from the wet soil the roots are black and you know usually depending on the plant usually uh, they, they're like more white and more healthier and then at the tip of it can be black and they're like very fragile just snip those off because those are already dead roots and then uh, yeah so that's kind of how you deal with uh, overwatering. it's now the number one cause of kill, uh, plant deaths for sure okay just do something for me ha uh -huh. yeah I get that <laughs> what do you mean do something for you okay what do you want me to do should I plant my ZZ plant and Dracaena in regular soil for or cacti soil? Definitely cacti soil and uh, succulent soil. Don't don't uh, don't use uh, regular potting mix. Hard for him to answer everyone. Yeah, I can't answer everyone. <laughs> okay, but he's trying to answer a lot of questions. Take my shirt off. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? I I I haven't worked out in uh, in a few days, so that's that's definitely not happening. 
same to you. Oh, wow, look at you guys. Oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> uh, I am uh, extremely flattered. How often do you uh, get new leaves on your rubber tree? Um, I say like, I feel like every, every two weeks, this guy is giving out new leaves, especially now that we're in the growing season. Uh, when this guy was actually in a smaller container and um, it was during the winter season, it literally did not give me any new leaves. It was like stuck like this. And that's another sign as well too. If, if it's not growing, chan you know, there's a possibility that it's probably root bound and you need to give it a bit more room. And as soon as I repotted this to, you know, from a six inch to an eight inch, this guy literally grew this much. So that was maybe last winter, one, two, three, four, about five new leaves since then. And uh, yeah, so um, that's another, so that's how fast my rubber tree grows. Alrighty. Where did my chat go? Okay, if my rubber plant has only one stem, can I cut it? Yeah, just cut it and it's gonna shoot out stems on the side, so that's how you can make it bushier. How often do you water the rubber tree? Wow, you guys love uh, rubber trees. Hey? I, I, it's a, you know, I, it was interesting that a lot of people uh, seem to uh, like uh, ficus lastica lately, and um, um, you know, I'm not sure uh, what drove, because last year it wasn't as popular, but I feel like uh, this year there's a lot of people who, who love rubber trees. And I also noticed that um, how to repot and uh, um, um, propagate my rubber tree video has seemed to shoot up. So I'm thinking there's a lot more interest, but I, uh, what was the question again? I forgot the question. Uh, how often do I water it? Was that it? Okay, so I water this guy. I don't have a schedule. I, I check to see if it's light, which in this case it's light. Um, this can use definitely watering, but you know I'm gonna wait a few more days before I water it. That's usually how I prefer to water my uh, Ficus elasticas here. Okay, sorry, chats are going too fast. I think your fern needs humidity. Yes, yes, my uh, my fern does need humidity. Tips on string of hearts. Okay. A new leaf curled backwards, similar to one of yours, more pronounced, could that be normal? See, are you referring to the ficus curling or, I, I find like leaves, okay, so usually when, when leaves curl, um, sometimes that's a sign that it needs to be watered, but, but you can also tell if it needs to be watered when, there's a difference between leaves curling like this and the leaves looking droopy. Um, so in this case, you know, I don't think mine, well, it does need watering, but for example, my pilia has a lot of curled leaves, but it's, it's normal for me. It's normal for that plant anyway, so I don't mind. If you have, it will start. Okay, so, sounds like you guys are helping each other out there with the chat. That's awesome, because I, I can't keep up with everyone. Um, all right, do you have any tips for my bird of paradise? Okay, so my, I got, my bird of paradise is, again, on, on the corner of that south-facing window. Uh, they prefer a lot of bright, bright, indirect light. Don't put them in direct sunlight. The leaves will burn. Uh, so they're not as, um, as resilient to bird, uh, uh, direct light as maybe like a fiddly leaf fig. But I water my bird of paradise. Actually, I don't water it as often as I should probably, like once a month. Um, he's a giant one right now. Uh, next, next tour, I'll show you guys how big his new leaf is. Are rubber plants uh, more hardy then? I would say they're they're pretty resilient to a lot of things. They're quite tolerant to underwatering, overwatering, and I've never experienced any pests with my rubber plants. From London, alrighty. How big is your windows? Let us see. Um, I can't flip the. Um, it's pretty much floor to ceiling. Um, you know, window. And it's like really the, the, the width of my um, space, but it's only about 10, 10 feet wide, 10 and a half feet wide, so probably like 10 and, 10 and a half feet tall as well. So um, that's how you guys can kind of guess that. Tips for getting rid of thrips. Ooh. <laughs> Get yourself those Dr. Doom uh, thrip spray that you can find at your hardware store. And if you ever find a plant that has thrips, first thing to do is quarantine them. Second thing to do, and I'm just learning this, is spray it down like crazy with this um, Dr. Doom spray, uh, specifically made for thrips, uh, everywhere under leaves, above leaves, you know, if you have it out of the soil, even the roots, and then put it in a plastic bag and seal it for like 24 hours, and then wash it down and then repeat that process like twice. So I've been doing that lately uh, because I'm afraid that, uh, I, thrips are probably the worst to, to definitely, uh, um, you know, get rid of. Greetings from Germany. Hey, how's it going? Okay. 
How to get finally? Okay. <laughs> you guys are so fast. Uh, Germany too. Okay. Wow, look at you guys. The rest of the collection must survive. Today is National Smile Day. Um, smile. You know what? With everything going on out there, sometimes you kind of just need to smile. <laughs> I'm from Romania. Do I have flowers? Uh, the only flowering plant I have is orchids and my lipstick plant that is uh, not doing so well. What's up? Hey, Natasha. <laughs> All right, cool. You have a southwest facing window. Oh, I missed that one. Greenland, okay. Your braces are hot. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, you <laughs> Just gonna. Hi, any prayer plan tips? Um, don't put them in bright light. Uh, definitely take them back. Medium light for sure. Keep that soil consistently moist. Use filtered or distilled water if you can. And uh, try and give it a bit of humidity. Uh, hey, uh, the plants bees, how's it going? <laughs> definitely check out. See, these are, I, I like, uh, you know, when I see some of my uh, fellow plant tubers. Uh, Charina and the plants bees right there. All right, where? Man, you guys are so fat. Well, oh, okay. I am from the UK. Hey, what's going on? Baby leaves on Chinese money plant. Okay, I, 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 have you heard of Ficus elastica moonshine? No, I haven't. Um, I haven't. Uh, I, I, I think I, someone mentioned it a couple uh, on my feed one time, uh, on my Instagram um, uh, comment, but I only have obviously my Ficus elastica, Ruby, Burgundy, and Tineki, and then my uh, Ficus uh, altissima. I am looking for a Ficus Audrey though. Okay, it's pretty sure, oh man, Plum has very leggy growth. I don't know why I have grow lights and it's window. Leggy growth. Um, usually, you're absolutely right, usually it's a sign that it's reaching for the light, but if you have it close to your um, grow light and really close to the window, uh, that's strange. Uh, unless, do you rotate your plant? Like I find, you know, sometimes when your light is on one side uh, and you don't rotate your plant, your you know it will still reach for the light. So that that could be a possibility. Cool. All right, guys. So I don't think I want to go over thirty minutes on this live chat. Uh, we're already at twenty two minutes in. We'll do another eight more minutes. How about that? How to make a fitonia grow? <laughs> okay. Hello, my dumb cane keeps yellowing every time. My air is on, I have moved it uh, to a corner and it's still happening. So um, keep, be careful with your watering. Your, usually yellow, yellow, yellowing leaves is just over watering. So if you moved it away from the forced air, that's, that's good. Let it calm down, let it chill, and then hold back your watering. Uh, but still make sure it gets enough you know, decent uh, light. Uh, but I would just suggest that. Just cut back in your watering. That's what, probably what's going on. Okay, so how I do this. Are we good? Okay. Ugh. Why can't I not see this? I don't know what's going on. Any thoughts on purchasing plants from Etsy? I don't usually, I usually don't, um, I don't know what's going on with this camera. I usually don't um, shop at Etsy or uh, buy plants online, um, except for Crystal Star Nursery. Uh, partly because, I don't know, there's I'm always cautious of, you know, I don't even want to talk about Etsy sellers, uh, but uh, I'm sure there's some good ones. I just, I, I just never have bought any plants from Etsy. All right, guys. So I think we're going to wrap this up shortly, uh, but thank you guys so much for joining me. Hopefully I was able to at least answer some uh, questions that you guys kept firing off as much as you can. Um, I have a Tineki and I'm in a basement with East Window. Man, if you're in the basement and you got like, a little window because I know a friend of mine lives in a basement and he's got a little window um, and you got a plant like thriving especially like a ficus that's pretty impressive so keep doing your thing and you know obviously if it's not enough light get a grow light uh, that usually helps but then again you know sometimes grow lights aren't as effective so make sure you get a good one uh, that's my, my advice to that all right guys so I'm gonna sign off here and log off hopefully you guys enjoy your day I'm gonna dream about you oh wow okay I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop reading that comment for that person uh, you're amazing. Thank you. Thanks, Sharina. We'll see you guys soon. Uh, I'll see you guys probably on Instagram in like 10 minutes. So I haven't been there in a while. Uh, but yeah, have a good one. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace. All right.
Oh, do you guys want to see Nemo before we go? Okay. Hi, Nemo. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>